In May of 2019, College of the Atlantic became the first U.S. school to sign the Break Free from Plastic Campus Pledge. When I was looking at schools, I wanted a place that did have some connection to the natural world around me. Here at COA, you're kind of slap in the middle of it. Um, you're, you know, the barrier of, of part of your campus is the ocean, the coast. We have this thing called the Bar Island Swim, and you, yeah, you swim from Bar Island all the way to the pier, from which over is, there. yeah, <laughs> I know, like. We, we enjoy this national park, we enjoy this ocean. Um, do we want it to have plastic running through it? Um, do we want the seabirds to ha be stuck in nets or things like that? Or um, no, we love it how it is right now. And how can we how can we uh, complement it in our in our lifestyle? I hope so. Yeah, the ocean is is part of who we are, and maybe it does make us more aware of the connections between what happens in the terrestrial environment and what happens in the marine environment. One of our main goals with signing the pledge was that we could be open and be really a part of the network that PLAN creates. We've restarted the whole, okay, let's get rid of single-use plastics on our campus, which has been really cool. As much as we can do like individual work, like having a whole like, COA as an institution supporting it, like other institutions will also see it as something important. So I believe there's, in, there's actual financial incentive to do the right thing because you, you know, we're in the business of wanting to bring students to our institutions. We should be thinking consciously about discarded resources as a whole, rather than like these individual stuff. Bag, you know, there's a lot of stuff that comes in plastic bags. A lot of you just can't reuse for sanitary right. reasons. Yeah. I mean, this is my 15th year, and and so much has changed and so much has improved, but it definitely is a progress, not perfection thing. Yeah. I think educational institutions can set the bar for institutions writ, writ large. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay to say, oh, I'm not going to use plastic bags, but if no one's putting in the infrastructure to make sure that you have alternatives to those plastic bags, then what? Like, what's the motive? You know? I think all of us are really drawn to the sea um, in like innumerable ways, and so it affects like our free time. And I know a lot of people go there like when things are really overwhelming. Um, but I think everyone's just really drawn back to the sea. Um, and then we see, like, I don't know, uh, plastic pollution in the ocean or in the mountains. It's like, okay, we, we feel that it's our responsibility that it's happening and that we are allowing that to happen. I mean, like, we see the effects right in front of us in terms of, um, yeah, the discarded resource in the ocean or like when there's a super high tide and it's really stormy and it's really unusual, like we see the effects right here. To find out how you can get your campus to sign a pledge, email young at postlandfill.org.